So we are on Galax 1, we're meeting Dimitra. He'll show us around. Hello Dimitra. Welcome on board. How's it going? Perfect. Thank you for showing me around. Of course. Come with me. Hello, Captain. welcome on board. How are you? Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> we were discussing a little bit before about uh, yeah. special places and uh, about what's special uh, about Galax 1. And I, I can say right away that uh, um, the experience on board from the stars is uh, very good because of the crew yeah. with uh, charisma and uh, very pleasant so we have the captain who knows uh, all the secret places and a chef that is very original and Dimitra that makes you feel at home it's amazing <laughs> captain uh, we, we were talking about some secret places is there any that you want to share the uh, most beautiful place for me in the Aegean Sea is uh, South Kofonisi Island. There is a magical bay. It's a huge one, but uh, it's not secret. But it's really beautiful. It's amazing because even if the weather is so bad in the Aegean Sea normally, in that bay you can relax and it's totally like another place. Kofonisi. Kofonisi. South Kofonisi. I will South. look into that. Yeah, you must. Is a must actually South Kofonis in the Aegean Sea. On the other side of Greece, on the west side of Greece, in the Ionian Sea, I love to be in Zakynthos, uh, north side, northeast side, mm -hmm. to the Blue Caves. There is a secret cave, and believe me, this is a secret cave because everybody knows the big caves where yeah. you can visit yeah, them yeah. with the tenders right. or even with uh, the daily uh, vessels from Zakynthos. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is a small cave like this uh, over the water, you have to dive to go inside, but when you go inside there, is a huge cave, approximately 30-40 meters uh, deep. You have to swim inside there, and when you arrive there, it's a must to dive inside and check the, the light blue of the, of the water. It's amazing. amazing. Believe and me, 10 captains, this cave, uh, we know it only two. Understood. Yeah, I am one of them. <laughs> and then you come back from the cave and uh, you... you are welcomed by some wonderful bow, yes. is that, with the like, yeah. Mexican twist? Yes, but the chef uh, will explain to you. It's a combination of Japan and Mexico and Peru. Uh -huh. You want to taste one? Maybe after. I mean, it's quite large. <laughs> a lot of space, a lot of backing up I have to yes. do on this boat. <laughs> Big tender with sea bobs. We have so many sun beds. Mm -hmm. In this boat, we we'll love the sun beds. So chilling is definitely the Perfect. activity here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some drinks, wonderful. Now with the cruising speed of uh, 10 knots, the only thing which you can do is to chill out. Oh, cruising speed at 10 knots is, is it a comfortable 10 or more like it? It's really comfortable. Comfortable and, uh, 10. The amazing thing is that uh, with 10 knots cruising speed, we have only 30 meters uh, consumption per hour. Nothing. What, what that means is that the boat can very rapidly transfer between islands. Uh, with 10 knots for a catamaran. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is yeah. a pretty decent with low consumption, which is great on the APA. Indeed, it, mm -hmm. it, it is. Awesome. Where do we want to continue? You want to start from sure. the side? Uh, okay, come yeah. with me. And where some, is that some drinks being there? Yeah. Uh, As you see. Right on time. We have, yeah. We have open kitchen, mm -hmm. first of all. We have open kitchen. And since our chef, Sotiria. Hello. Sotiria. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Sotiria. Hello. I understand that uh, uh, your food is very special. Mm, no, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> wait, so Peruvian? Uh, what, 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 what's your sign? Uh, your signature is a little bit of a mix of different uh, uh, cuisines. Is that correct? My signature is uh, a lot of Mediterranean cuisine. Mm -hmm. uh, Peruvian is just one of my favorites, oh. but it's uh, a little bit fusion because it's with Greek ingredients. Oh, so th that, that is interesting. I'll definitely dig into that. Uh, I love Greek kitchen, mm -hmm. not because I am Greek, but it's very tasteful and very healthy. I agree. And I am specialized <laughs> in fish and seafood. So fish and seafood is your it's specialty? It's my best area, mm -hmm. yeah. I am not so experienced in meat, not that I cannot manage, but I, most of the years I was in a seafood restaurant. Fish, seafood, Greek food, wonderful. Like that's what people come here for, right? Well, you yes, want to have maybe a little yeah, touch of home? Actually, what she means is that uh, 
She specialized in seafood, but believe me, if you taste a, a steak from Sotiria, you will lose your mind. Oh, life. so very <laughs> humble, very humble chef. Thank you. So, do we want to continue with the cabins? Yes, so, I'll start here. on the uh, starboard side. You want to start from there? Start on both sides. So, turn the rain. So nice and lit up. see how that works okay I didn't get it right away so I walk through shower to the bathroom right. yes that's that's smart better than the whole making the whole thing uh, yeah wet so there is a dry uh, bathroom absolutely second one mm -hmm. here the bed is a little more higher it's taller but uh, yes. usually the stairs I've seen way smaller stairs this is decent so it, it, it is quite easy to get up there and from both sides which is also not uh, uh, always that you can get up from both sides so that is great Under the beds. Oh, great! So that's a lot of storage yes, space, but yes. it's not in your face. It's really well hidden and, and worked into yes, the bed. We, mm -hmm. we can't see that from the first side, but oh, we have that's, uh, that's awesome. so many mm -hmm. spaces, as you see. That's not on every cabin or every boat where they have that much storage space. This is brilliant. Yes, we must have. Which means it's also very suitable for longer charters. Mm -hmm. Right. So. The fourth cabin now. This mm -hmm. is master cabin. And this is a master, very private, double entrance. Yes. Can imagine you wake up here with with the view and of just course, get out and, and jump in the water. Escape from here. Escape from here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Br brilliant. The bathroom again. Here. In all cabin, we have a space under the bedroom. Uh -huh. So the ward wardrobe is also nicely tucked yeah. away, and I see another huge one. So that's good. That's amazing. I see a yes. bunch of plugs everywhere, mm -hmm. so you can connect in. Oh, amazing, mm -hmm. thank you. And the last. Mm hmm that's another master so really generous with the sizes um, yeah a little more bigger so they are spread out <laughs> relatively evenly among the uh, among the cabins uh, that, right. that's very nice right the bathroom and 
here, of course, this window, this entrance. For me, it's the favorite. You can go out, go straight out for swimming uh, if you want. That, that's what I imagine. You just get out and, <laughs> and jump swimming. into the blue waters and mm -hmm. exactly. That's why it's a master bedroom. Mm -hmm. We love teak. We love teak. Yes. Mm -hmm. The teak here is very big. We have so many spaces for sunbed, mm -hmm. as you see, to relax. And with the tent not freezing, very relaxed. And drinking something here. Plenty of space here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we start again from the beginning and go upstairs. I would, was wondering if we can finish on the flybridge, please. Of course. So that would be from there. From yes. here. Yes, yes, I see it. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Alright, so we're on the flybridge. Ah, you see, see so many sandbags. More sandbag areas <laughs> and uh, another and dining area. I imagine this could be used for a nice dinner with lookout yes. when the wind is not too high. And the roof is open so, so easy. Oh, so the roof yeah. does open. If you, if you want to stay there and relax in and when the sun goes mm -hmm. down, you can see the the so fly bridge slash Sunday. Perfect. Oh, I yeah, see. Exactly. So easy. I can already feel it with the music. I'm already on. What island am I on right now? Oh. Yeah, quite like Idra. That's my Idra. favorite. Idra island. is my favorite yeah. too. Especially uh, anchoring at Idra or coming to the more uh, to the marina uh, the in marina Idra. For me, yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah. quite exciting always. It's very and quiet island because mm -hmm. there isn't a car there. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Very quiet. Very, you know, artistic island. Mm -hmm. And with the music, I'm thinking of the sunset bar there, right? Lounge. Yes. 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 Oh, Dimitra. It's our style. <laughs> yeah, I think we shared that. Dimitra, thank you for showing nice me around and have a great show. Thank you.